welcome back to this uh what is this this is the fourth video now um i'm sorry that they i didn't put up any video this weekend i ha i hosted um a baby shower for my best friend uh, she's having a girl and it's almost a month left so it's kind of uh, soon um, going home from the baby shower I got so sick I was just coughing and my throat was killing me and then on Sunday I um, had the coronavirus test done and then I had to wait like four days to uh, get my answer but luckily it was negative so now I am allowed to go out to grocery shop again um, I'm so happy that you guys love my videos. Don't forget to uh, click subscribe on my channel and I get very happy when you like the videos as well. Today we are making carbonara. Um, this will be a traditional carbonara, so it's it won't be the... I think a lot of people use uh, cream in their carbonara. I won't. It's a traditional Roman dish. It is normally used with a piece of the pig's cheek, I think. It's called guanciale. Um, I couldn't find that anywhere. Uh, so I just bought pancetta instead. But you can use that. Uh, the traditional is the guanciale, but you, I use pancetta. You can also just use bacon if you want, but of course, the more traditional Italian uh, ingredients, the more traditional the dish is. But it's a very simple dish. It takes maybe 10, 15 minutes to make and it is so good. So let's begin. So you would want to grate the cheese as fine as possible. Okay, so I've put uh, pasta water to boil right now and now I'm going to fry the pancetta. I know you're not supposed to do it, but I use a little bit of olive oil. So I have the pancetta here. And for two people, it is 200 grams of pasta. So the pancetta is crisp and I just leave it in the pan for now. It's a good idea to just let it cool down, like take it off the heat. Because when I am going to mix in the pasta and also the egg, it needs to not be too warm. Because if, if it's too hot, then it will be scrambled eggs. And you don't want scrambled eggs, you want carbonara. So you can use um, normal eggs. I just bought uh, these. It's only the yolk. I think they have them in every supermarket. And there's two in one. So let's do four or more. I think I'll do one more. So you just mix in the cheese. And also, um, fresh black pepper. Then a trick to not to make sure that it doesn't uh, become scrambled eggs is you take half a deciliter of the pasta water. So the pasta is done and then you just transfer it from the water. So now you just add the egg mixture 